because you clicked on this video, I'm assuming you're interested to learn how to replace an IGU or insulated glass unit on a Simonton tape glazed window. I'm Danny, Simonton Windows Technical Specialist. And I will show you how to replace that IGU or insulated glass unit in a tape glazed window. A tape glaze simply means that the glass is adhered in the frame using a double face tape that must be cut from the exterior of the home. So therefore, work has to be performed both inside and outside the home. So before you get started, make sure that you have the proper tools close at hand and within easy reach. One of the first tools needed is a sharp half inch wide wood chisel to remove the glazing bead and perhaps remove the glazing tape. The second is a non-marring hammer such as this or any standard shot hammer to reinstall the glazing bead. Another useful tool is an easy deglazer used to cut the glazing tape from the exterior of your home. If you wouldn't have an easy deglazer, a standard flexible putty knife can do the job as well. You will need replacement glazing tape, which is provided by Simonton Windows. A glass suction cup. If you don't have a helper assisting you, this is a very useful tool. Some 100% clear silicone, high grade of silicone to seal the corners of the glazing tape. And if your glass is cracked or broken, I recommend you use cut resistant sleeves to protect yourselves. Now let's go ahead and get started and replace this insulated glass unit in your Simonton tape glazed window. But before you begin the removal process, inspect the new insulated glass unit that was sent to you by Simonton. You wanna make sure that it is the correct size and check it for any obvious visible damage. Also, prepare that piece of glass so it's ready to go in by locating the white sticker on the glass, that white sticker will be facing the interior of your home when you set it in the window. Also, if you look between the two panes of glass, there's a spacer system. In the upper right hand corner is where we want to find the rivet. So prepare that glass so when you set it, the rivet is in the upper right hand corner. If your existing insulated glass unit is cracked, cover those cracks with duct tape to decrease the chance of defragmentation. Also, Make sure that the worksite area is clear of any pets or small children. Now, the next step to remove that glass is to go to the exterior and cut that double face tape that's holding that glass in place. You wanna slide that and go all the way around, cutting that tape loose. Now that the tape is cut loose from the exterior, the next step is to remove the four pieces of glazing bead on the interior perimeter of your window. As you can see, the four pieces are butt jointed at the corners, so the side pieces have to be removed first. The easiest way to remove them is to insert the sharp point of your chisel with the flat blade of the chisel facing the center of the glass towards the bottom of one or other sides. Insert it between the joint where the glazing bead meets the main frame and slightly twist the chisel to separate the glazing bead. The next two, of course, would be the top and the bottom. Now keep in mind, once that top piece of glazing bead is removed and they're all now removed, any small puff of wind could easily push that insulated glass unit to the interior. So this is where a helper would come in very handy. Because I don't have one, I'm going to use a glass suction cup to help me hold that glass when I remove the top piece of glazing bead. Pull it away and safely set it aside. Now that we removed the old insulated glass unit and we've prepped the new one to go in, we need to actually prepare the opening. As you can see, the tape that I had cut, cut clean and evenly. Therefore, I can leave that in place and just place a bead of silicone around it to secure the glass in. However, if when you cut it, if it becomes jagged or uneven or it's torn, you're going to want to use a half inch chisel and scrape away that old tape. Then you're gonna to need to install new glazing tape provided by Simonton. When installing new tape, 
You always want to do the two horizontal pieces first and go full length, butting the two side pieces into those. Then you need to remove the adhesive backing that's on it to prepare yourself for the glass. Always remember though, that at the four corners where the tape is jointed together, that you put a bead of silicone in there to help seal those areas as well. But because this cut nice and clean, I'm going to apply an eighth inch bead of clear silicone around the entire perimeter about down the center of that tape that's on there now. Now before you set the new insulated glass unit, you want to make absolutely certain that the setting blocks or glass shims are located a couple inches in from each corner. You never want to set an insulated glass unit down tight on the frame. But because everything's in place, I'm ready to set the new insulated glass unit. And there you have it. You just replaced the piece of tape glazed glass in a single hung window. Keep in mind, of course, that any picture window that's tape glazed, the process would be identical. Thank you for watching. If you have any other questions about this project or any others, please visit us at simonton.com.